Michelle Malkin warns of a new dubious poster boy for Dem care. Glenn Beck attacks his family, while Rush Limbaugh calls his message a sob story. If you thought the right couldn't sink any lower in their hysteria over health care reform, they just did. Their latest target, an 11-year-old boy. Marcellus Owens, a fifth grader from Seattle, speaking at a news conference alongside his grandmother and senior Senate Democrats, sharing the story of his mother, Tiffany. My mom was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension in 2006. She missed so much work that she lost her job. And along with her job, she lost her health care. And losing her health care ended up um, causing her her life. And I wanted to finish her fight for health care. So I don't want any other kid to go through the pain that our family has gone through. Tiffany Owens died at the age of 27 of pulmonary hypertension. And as Media Matters reports, her story and her son's telling of it sent the right-wing noise machine into overdrive. The website Newsbusters calling the 11-year-old a spokesman for a liberal lobby attacking his grandmother, Gina Owens, for her work with the Washington Community Action Network, a consumer advocacy group. Glenn Beck taking that attack, questioning Ms. Owens' motives by attacking her group and the issues it supports. There are pesky phrases in that one that we should point out. Social justice, shared community, and collective responsibility. And let's not forget, truly democratic society. Well, we're not a democratic society. Um, I think that was the Soviet Union. I believe it's the Democratic Socialist Republic in China as well. Beck then went after the group that helped Marcellus and his grandmother get to Capitol Hill. The trip was paid for by Health Care for America Now. That's the George Soros funded, Barack Obama approved group fighting for health care. Since all of these groups are so concerned and so involved now, may I ask, where were you when Marcella's mother was vomiting blood? Wasn't this the perfect opportunity to help provide a decent quality of life for all? Or at least for one? You had somebody in your own ranks that knew that her mother knew. Dare I ask, where was Grandma? Desperate to catch up with Beck, Michelle Malkin and Rush Limbaugh also joined in. To refresh your memory, the pair also targeted 12-year-old Graham Frost and his family in 2007. Graham gave a Democratic radio address, objecting to President Bush's veto of a bill that expanded S-CHIP, the state children's health insurance program. That led to Malkin to call his parents spoiled brats and Limbaugh to question the family's finances. In the case of Marcellus Owens, Malkin called him a human kitty shield for the Dems, with Limbaugh echoing that sentiment. Now, this is unseemly, exploitative, an 11-year-old kid being forced to tell this story all over just to benefit the Democrat Party and Barack Obama. I would also say this to Marcellus Owens. Well, your mom would have still died.
Because Obamacare doesn't kick in till 2014 if they sign it this year. Really, Rush? That's what you would say to an 11-year-old kid about his dead mother? Come on, Rush. Tell your listeners the truth on this one. Even you would never say that to an 11-year-old. I know being mean is part of your business model, and I know it's easy to say things you regret in three hours of live radio. But now, you really should do what your dead mother, Millie, taught you to do in a situation like this. Apologize. Come on, Rush. Tell Marcellus you're sorry. You saw him, Rush. He's a classy kid. He'll accept your apology. You just have to be big enough to say you're sorry. Go ahead, Rush. You can do it. It's not that hard. Make Millie proud of her little boy.